So now that we know what is an index and how indexes works, I also want to mention here that indexes can also be used for sorting the query data. And this is possible because the index contains a sorted list of elements which points to a document in a collection. And MongoDB can use that sorted element in the index to sort the query data in the same way how it is present in the index. Let's try to understand it with an example. So here what I want is I want to query some documents from the user's collection and I'm also going to use this explain method here and then the find method. So how do I want to query all the documents? I want to query all those documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40. So for that I'm using this GTE operator and here I'm going to specify the value as 40. So I want to filter all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40. And then I also want to sort that result by gender field in ascending order. So let me also specify that. Okay. Now, if you remember in the last lecture, we created an index and here this G should be in uppercase. So in the last lecture, we created an index on the age field and gender field. So basically we created a compound index and in that index, the pointers which we will have there, first it will be sorted by the age field and then by the gender field. So in the index, the pointers are already sorted in ascending order, first by age field and then by gender field. And here when we want to sort all the result which this query will return in ascending order using this gender field, here instead of doing the sorting in memory, MongoDB is going to use the index which we created and it is going to sort the document using that index. Instead of doing the sorting in the memory, it is going to sort the result which we are going to get from this find method by using the index which we created on this age and gender field. So if I go ahead and if I run this command, you will see that here in order to fetch the documents from the collection, MongoDB has used this index. Using this index, it is doing an index scan and using this index, it is basically fetching the documents from the user's collection. And in this index, since the documents are already sorted first by age and then by gender, MongoDB is going to use this index for sorting the document. So it is not going to sort the documents in memory. It will simply reference this index, how the pointers are sorted in this index. And MongoDB is going to use this index for sorting the documents in the same way. Now, what you need to understand here is, if you are not using index on a field and you are querying a large set of data in a sorted order, MongoDB might time out. And that's because MongoDB has a threshold of 32 MB in the memory for sorting. As I mentioned, if we don't have any index and if MongoDB has to sort a query result, it will sort it in memory. And if the data set is very large, then while sorting that large data set in the memory, the sorting task might utilize more than 32 MB of memory. And in that case, MongoDB will simply time out. So sometimes you don't need index just to speed up the query, but you might also need it for sorting when you are querying a large set of data. Now, this will not be important when you have a small data set like we have here, but if you have millions of documents in a collection, there it might be crucial to have an index on a field when you want to sort it using that field. Because if you have an index on that field, MongoDB will not do in-memory sorting. It will use the sorted elements of the index which is pointing to the documents in the collection and it will sort the document in the same order. So just remember that indexes can not only be useful in improving the efficiency of your query but it can also be useful when you want to sort a large set of data. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.